times people openly admit to cheating on paternity court. You cheated I have a, a week obsession. later? Yes, I have a celebrity obsession in this guy that I, he looked like Bon Jovi. Now you telling him he's cheating. He's telling you he's you're it. cheating. Yes, Your Honor, I have been talking to other females while I've been married. Paternity court found Miss White in trouble after she kept switching between her boyfriend and ice cream. Miss White, you say you have no doubt when it comes to who your four-month-old child major's biological father is. You were intimate with the neighborhood ice cream man during the window of conception. You are seeking a DNA test as well as $1,846.54 in child care expenses. Correct. The plaintiff started off with a list of these expenses. Why do you claim Mr. Flowers owes you $1,846.54 for child care expenses. I bought diapers, stroller, crib, detergent, toys, everything for my son that he needs as an infant. He hasn't bought him anything. The things he did buy, he took back to the store. What do you mean? He bought him two outfits, he returned them. He even told the court why Mr. Flowers picked her to pay for the child care expenditure. Me and Mr. Flowers, that's all we did was have sex. That was our relationship, was based on sex, sex, sex unprotected sex at that. And you no. were having sex with Mr. Flowers during the window of conception. Yes. And you weren't using protection. No, ma'am. Mr. Flowers, you have doubt. Yes, ma'am. I ain't putting no leash and collar on nobody's neck. We was doing what we do. Okay, mama. But why is she skipping other guys from the picture? To find out about this other guy. Me and Miss White, we was kicking it. I had spent the night over there. She filed a sleep text message come through. And it's, it's, it, man, I don't even know where to begin that, Judge. It get real and explicit that's only in there. He wasn't around. Down. He wasn't around. I never said nothing to her, neither, because I ain't, I ain't the argumentative, fighting type of guy. So let's get the ice cream man into the room. This wasn't a relationship. It wasn't a committed relationship. No. Did you use protection? I used protection the three times, but the last time I did. You understand that there's a possibility that you could be this child's father? Possible. And this is the part where we got to watch how baby mama glossed her swindling. It was just entertainment. When you say entertainment, what, what do you, I mean, it's because. not like it's a movie. <laughs> no, because William not around, you know, he had stuff for me to do. We was on the ice around. cream truck, go to the house, party, do whatever, whatever. You know, he was somebody to have fun with. Did you ever tell Mr. Miles he was the father too? No. He was a liar. Mr. Miles? No, I you really are didn't. A liar. Well, cheating and lying do go hand in hand, don't they? You see the baby? That's your baby. Do you see that baby in me? That's Bro, that is not my baby. That's your baby. That's not my baby. Look That's at that baby. baby. He has no features, and no And so nothing. at the point you saw him and you didn't see your features, then what did you tell Miss White? I didn't tell her at the time. I just said in my head, like, wow, this is not my child. After this evidence brought to the court made us think that mama might have ulterior motives. Text messages yes, from Ms. White to you. Yes, ma'am. And the first one says, LOL, you just don't know my child got so many men willing to do your part. The next text says, my baby needs a pop that's getting money on a daily. I ain't no drug dealer, so I ain't getting money on the daily, man. You said getting money on a daily. The judge asked the fiance to step up to the podium and she testified this. Well, it's been hard. It's, it's hurtful. She's a homewrecker. I can never be a homewrecker yes, when your home was already wrecked. You knew wrecked. about me. Your you home was knew, already wrecked. But you knew was, about me. He was buying my ice cream, though. You Something knew about me. No, I did not. You knew about no, me. No, I did not. No, you nothing about you. He just said that wasn't woman. together. If you want to disrespect yourself, that's one thing. No, she I didn't disrespect, I didn't disrespect another you. woman. Infidelity blame falls on both participants, but neither had no remorse about the situation. What a lot, I must say. He told me that it wasn't, and it I'm wasn't his. Wrecker. You are. No, I'm Because not. you still knew no, about I'm me. Not. No, no, I did not. You still continue to mess Stop with me, lying. and you, you bought know, pampers for my baby. He's gonna, but you still taking bought responsibility for, my for that now. But are you taking the responsibility for being a homewrecker? No, I'm not. He did it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk one at a time. Finger pointing, talking circles solves nothing. So let's jump to the result. It has been determined by this court. His father is Mr. Flowers. Thank you, Steve. Yeah, you're right. Thank that. you, Steve. I already knew that. Mrs. Lee's infidelity has left his husband disowned from his family. 
but she has one of the lamest excuses to defend herself. You say your wife, Ms. Lee, conceived a child after cheating numerous times during your marriage. Yes, Your Honor. Now, you claim your family disowned you because of her infidelity. Your marriage is on the brink of divorce. Yes, Your Honor. You petitioned the court for a DNA test to prove that you are not the father of Ms. Lee's 11-month-old daughter, Carolyn Lee. And this is how the swindling yarn started. But you also say she cheated. Yes, Your Honor. She started cheating on me with the guy she claimed it looked like Bon Jovi. You cheated I have a, a celebrity week obsession. later? Yes, I have a celebrity obsession on this guy that I, he looked like Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi? That is no reason to cheat, is it? That I, he looked like Bon Jovi. He's just jealous. The man know. lived cheated on a cot and played a But wait a minute, you just said fish. you were in love with Mr. Yes. Lee. He, he was the one. He took your grandmother embryo. out and that's all you needed, so you had sex with him without protection. Well, And he's the one, and then you engaged, and then you, one week later? I really do have a big celebrity More effect. like see, that's why it's easy to fall for a fairy tale narrative, but keeping it is harder than anyone can imagine. It was a very... Of off like you were star-crossed lovers that found each other. Now... It turns sour real quick. I just... And so how much cheating has there been? I've only cheated on him with two men. I got a little pissed off because, I mean, at times, you know, my family disowned me. I had no friends. Why did she your family disown me? He cheated on me and I chose her over them. And they didn't like that. And now things were messed up like this. Oh, you Not felt like you could trust. I felt like I could trust her. I felt like that this was my kid. But now you're standing in court with a marriage on the brink of divorce. This is correct. And now you have doubts. Yeah, I have doubts because she revealed but to he, me that... he was there for me. He never sang to her. He never talked to her during the going for ultrasounds. He was either asleep in the room or he wouldn't even go. So the judge summoned up the whole dynamic like this. Your family disowned. Yeah. She cheats on you again. You take her back. Yeah. Then one week into the pregnancy, she tells you it may not be yours because she slept with somebody else. Yes, Your Honor. And you stay with her. Yes, Your Honor. Despite her courts and despite everything, I do love her. I mean, I realize people have problems, do things that they're not proud of. Mrs. Lee, on the other hand, tried to explain herself in this way. I love my mom to death, but nobody in my family really showed me how to be in a relationship. My grandfather died when I was six, and he was the only, him and my grandmother were the only decent ones I really saw. So you basically were flying by the seat of your pants. Yes, Your Honor. Literally. Yeah, literally. So instead of working on a relationship, you'd go outside of it yes. to look for your answers. Yes. Oh, poor guy. We feel really bad for him. That's all right. Take your time. I was there when she was born. I signed the birth certificate, everything. I'd like to see that, Jerome. You were there from the beginning. And I can see that you love her. So you signed the birth certificate. I just don't want to live a lie. I want to know if this is my daughter or not. Ms. Lee, he is not Carolyn's biological father. You know who is? No, Your Honor. Now it was time to end Mr. Lee's misery. Mr. Lee, you are Carolyn's father. Yeah, I told you. I told you. I told you. <laughs> A troubled husband can't trust his exotic dancer wife and wants to know if the alleged daughter is really his. You have petitioned the court for a paternity test for your four-year-old daughter, Jay Leona. Yes, Your Honor. You question whether you are her biological father because of her mother's sexually promiscuous lifestyle. Yes, it's true. As an exotic dancer Stripper. has torn your relationship apart. The results today prove the child is yours. You are planning to seek sole custody. Yes, I am. Okay, now that we have that clear, Let's see how it's been affecting daddy. For the last four years of my life, I've been living a complete lie. You're not living a lie. Yes, I am. I don't believe she even has a clue or idea who the father name is. So yeah. take me back a little bit. How did this relationship get to this point? You're together and you're happy. Well, this is how it happened. I was in job court. Okay. I was working to get my uh, CNA, nursing license. Okay. I met her at a party. But Miss Props perceived no folly on her part. Liar, how was I a liar? That's why we're here today. She's already admitted to cheating. She knows this. That's not being a liar. Yes, I it admitted is. to cheating, cheating which is means lying you and asked, cheating. and it's I admitted thing. it. That's not it's being a thing. liar. Miss Probst, you admit that you were in a relationship with Mr. Clark, but then at some point you cheated. Yes, and Your lied. Honor. I did not lie. You yes, cheat, Your you Honor. Lie. It's the same thing. She gave in the protocol conception calendar to back up her statement. Indicated in green, you slept with the other guy at the park. Yes. In yellow are the dates that you slept with Anthony. Yes, ma'am. They told me my conception so Jay date Leona was, was that time. born in June. Yes, ma'am. As we count back, first week in September would be the week of conception. Yes. During which 
time you slept with both guys? Yes, Your Honor. The judge had this to say about the whole situation. We've established that the paternity is at issue. Now, Miss Probst, is exotic dancing just the Stripper. career of your I'm choice? An exotic dancer. No, Your Honor. I had a rough childhood. Me and my family never got along. My father was never around. I just want for my daughter to have the father that I never had. I had to do what I have to do to be able to provide for me and my children. After this, you may not be the father bomb drop. I should have, but I did. I was confused. Like I told you, I did not know who was the father of my child. I did not want to ruin the relationship that we had. I told him I'm pregnant and there's a possibility that you might not even be the father. I told him he knew she that told he me she was may pregnant not from be the, the beginning. father of That's our child. Mr. Clark had a lot to lose if the baby girl turned out not to be his. I get a glimpse of what I could possibly leave her, you know, as a legacy of myself behind. I know that I could raise her the right way. It makes me proud to be a father. You know, I always wanted to be a family guy and I call myself proud dad. I even got a specialized t-shirt made at home. The results of this test are very important. Important. Yes, they are. They're, they're critical. He is a great father. There's no doubt. And now he was fed up with all his partner had thrown at him. This is a paternity court. It's about my child. I will be there as a dad and I will support her. With Jayliana, speaking of, as far as maintaining a relationship with her and knowing that, that that's something she betrayed of me, I, I couldn't do that. But you, you already you knew, for, like I said, a there's a 50 50 chance of you being or not being the father. That's why we're here today. And I pray that he's the dad. Well, let's go to the result. Well, there is only one way out of this cycle. Now let's get to that. Mr. Clark, you are not her father. Don't don't come up. Here. I, I'm sorry, but you already knew before no, we came. It doesn't, there it, was it, doesn't a it doesn't that matter. You might not it doesn't, be her it doesn't father, matter. Though. Age has nothing to do with commitment, but being young, dumb and unable to commit just doesn't seem to end. Ms. Vaughn, who is 16 years your junior, is a serial cheater who can't be trusted. Yes, You ma claim she cheated on you with multiple men and you are convinced the DNA test will prove that you did not father her three-year-old son, Kadir. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Vaughn, you are certain Mr. Moody is Kadir's father. Is yes, Your Things went downhill for this duo very fast. As I seen and pay attention to her reaction, how things changed in her demeanor, I started questioning her about it. Why are you not coming to see me no more like you used to? When I leave to go, I go to I leave, I leave to go to work at 12. She'll be there at 6 and spend that whole time with me to it's time for me to go to work. Sometimes it might be two days and I ain't even seen her at all. Who you with? That's my question. Who you being with? And the defendant had this take on her infidelity. But clearly, yes, I made a mistake and I admitted to him. I became a grown woman and I told him the truth. I thought at the time I was ready for a relationship, but clearly I wasn't. I'm young. In my mind and in my feelings, this is what I wanted. I wanted a family, but I didn't react it like that. Ms. Vaughn, you admit there were other men you were having sex with during the time you were also having sex with Mr. Moody. Yes, Your Honor. But this revelation had a happy, upbeat outcome at first. By her admitting it, you know I got to take the DNA test. I have to do that. So what I did, we got the money together and we went and took a DNA test. Come to find out the child was mine. Which made me feel very, I felt good about that. You no, know, I yes, felt sir. real good about that. I felt real good about that. However, it didn't go on for too long. Your Honor, now I asked, but when I, when I seen this, I ain't asked that. When I get in the car, I looked in the car, grass all on, uh, grass all on the floor of my car and everything. Before I seen that grass and all that stuff in the car, I went in the I said, baby, who you had in the car? Oh, I ain't had nobody in the car. I ain't, I ain't had nobody in no, your no, car. No, I was being, I been flirtatious. Yeah, at a hotel. I cheated. At a hotel, you been first at a hotel. Okay. Who said that committed people have a flirtatious past? I mean, that's what you do at hotels. I'm trying to figure out why we were even at a hotel. What happened at the hotel? Yeah, exactly, Your Honor. Yeah. What I'm asking. Okay, oh, you're asking me what happened at the hotel. This is what she told me after the fact, after the fact, after the fact. Three it uh, after the fact. Went to the hotel. I ain't have sex. I just gave oral sex. Is that not cheap? This back and forth brought the couple back to the doubting circle again. I know her demeanor how she acted at certain times. And the same way she heard, the same demeanor how she acted when the from the first pregnancy, it's the same to me how she acted now at the <gasps> second. And that's why you doubt you are Kadir's biological father. Your Honor, that's <gasps> correct. You say you were not cheating during that time. During that time, Your Honor, no, I was not. Still, the lying part was not over yet. Your Honor, I got the paperwork. I had to pay $400 for them lies. Well, she wants to get married, Your Honor. I told her, you take this lie detector test. And if you pass this lie detector test, I'll marry you that same day and get you a ring that following week. <laughs> That following week, I was gonna go. We looked at the rings and everything, y'all. We don't looked at rings and everything. This is what the lie detector test had to say. Since 2013, have you had a sexual relationship with any male other than 
Le Grease. That would be Mr. Moody. Liar. You failed that. Yes, Your Honor. Since 2013, have you lied to Le Grease about any sexual contact you had with another male? Liar. You failed that. And compulsive lying had put everything at stake. If he isn't your biological Yes, I have. I'm gone. You say you're done. Yes. If he's not your biological child. Yes, because we've been gone for this for six years. And if, if it ain't no trust from then and now, as far as that child being mine, then what's the purpose and what's the use? That mean, I'd be wasting my time to continue to go. So everything's at stake now. Well, everything's at stake. So now it was time for the truth. Jamudi, you are the father. Hello. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. Mr. Singleton wants to know if he is fathering someone else's daughter or not. Ray has never been honest with you about the child she claims is your daughter. During a heated argument, you claim she told you that you may not be the father of three-year-old Ariana, and you've petitioned the court for a paternity test and declare if you learn the child is not yours, the marriage is over. Yes, Your Honor. But the plaintiff was not that innocent either. Your daughter may not be yours. Well, I got a phone call, her at the uh, doctor's office, actually. We had had an argument recently. She got with him. No, so actually you cheated on me and that's the reason why I cheated I, went I cheated with my ex. yes you went to your ex immediately no we wasn't together so it's not called cheating well I wasn't cheating we weren't together see it's easy to just blame others for their fizzles you look and see some text messages and you realize he's up to no good yes so that's why I went with my ex we didn't have no protection with your ex yes exactly but that was two weeks after exactly that's what I'm saying you had all the respect in the world but for it the fact like that I, I was cheating hold on you had all respect in the world for the fact that I was cheating, supposedly, right? No However, things were not that simple in this trial. You are admitting that what he's saying is true. You told him straight up, yes. this baby's not yours. I told him. I believe the only reason why we're here today is so he can get a way out. All of a sudden, he wants to get a DNA test. Well, well, wait, yeah, well um, Mr. Ms. Gray, when you look at a man and tell him the baby is not his, that's a capital D for doubt. This revelation called for a woman-to-woman -woman tip by Judge Lake. Give you a little woman tip. Go after the ones with the glasses and the good jobs, <laughs> baby. Exactly. After telling you the baby was not yours, she had to have told you that the baby was yours. Exactly. Your when Honor. did this happen? The guy went to jail. So then all of a sudden, here come the new story. It's your baby. Next up came the pointing fingers palooza. What about all the pictures and how you were calling other girls nicknames? What about I mean, that? You know, you're, people you're cheating. Do that. You're, you're, at, you're supposed to be at work. Yeah. And you're on the phone at 3 o'clock in the morning hey, talking to females. That's now, Mr. So. Singleton, I listened to a lot of cases from this bench. You cheating? Now you telling him he's cheating. He's telling you he you're cheating. It. Still, the tit for tat didn't abruptly end their marriage plan. You married her. I was trying to do the right thing. Did you tell the man it wasn't his child? What was your I point? I never told was him that. It? I never told him that. I you said got it was on a, the phone. I told you it was a possibility. No, you didn't say no possibility about nothing. You got on that phone that day from the doctor's office and you told me plain straight out. You said So why he, did you marry me then? If Because I love you. After this judge dropped the real hardball in the courtroom. Have you cheated? In what sense of the word do you mean cheat? We don't have time for you to go research it, so we don't need you to use your book sense, use your common sense. I asked you an easy question. Now give me the hard answer. Yes, Your Honor, I have been talking to other females while I have been married. Talking? Yes. Have you had I, sex with anyone else no, since you've been married? No, ma'am, not at all. Subsequently, the judge called a witness who disclosed this truth. Mr. For Singleton me. is not the stand-up guy he that professes is, to be. No. He's putting on a persona. How can I be a and Miss okay. Simmons, what are you hoping go, for today? I'm hoping that the other guy is the father. Why? He Why she wants to do that? Because I love Maurice. Why? I understand she loved him. Okay, I can see the before marriage. But after marriage, come on now, you doing worse stuff than what you was doing before. Before the result, we got to see this ham up. I just want to address the court and say that if this is not my baby, this ring right here don't mean nothing. You can have that. Mr. Singles, that was dramatic. <laughs> However, you married this woman knowing that this child may not be yours. And you, now you married want to out. You took the vow. Now you want a way out. So I get back a ring. Hmm. We are done with this mess, so it's time to end it. Mr. Singleton, you are not her father.